All right, back on the farm today. It's been almost a month. It's crazy. Uh, came out here and sprayed our clover last. Our beans had just started popping out of the ground. And now I'm back um, this uh, July the 2nd. Beans are super weedy and are just super sparse. I'm pretty bummed. <laughs> um, so trying to figure that out. I was gonna wait until they were taller to spray because they're Roundup Ready beans, but there's a lot of competition in here. There's a lot of beans there, but they're pretty sparse. And so I think I need to spray out the competition, but also I think they're getting browsed really heavily by the deer population here. Uh, pretty much every bean I see looks like it's been nipped off. So what we're doing today is we're building an exclusion cage. So our exclusion cage is gonna keep a small set of beans uh, basically outside the reach of the deer browse and you do that so that you can see how the beans would be growing if they weren't getting browsed on by critters so i've built one here uh, in the runway and then we're going to build one in the backfield and just see but also as you can see super weedy i've got to get out here and spray to to knock back this competition it looks horrible um but anyway for first year trying beans and so it is what it is um, but anyway Property looks good as a whole. Our clover that we sprayed looks really nice. Still a few weeds in it. It's still young and early, but I'm really pleased with the results of that. I'll show you that. Um, and then we're just gonna litter the property with a bunch more cameras too. So, so that's what's on the docket for today. We're out here um, building exclusion cages, kind of just observing what we see, um, and then hanging a bunch more cameras to see how the deer are reacting to these uh, to this new food source. So good day excited to be back out on the farm oh